Welcome. This question says a hydraulic system consists of one cylinder of circular cross section that has a radius of 3 meters connected to another cylinder that has a radius of 6 meters. A 9 Newton force is applied to the smaller cylinder. What force acts on the larger cylinder? So if I visualize this, I can imagine there's my smaller cylinder. And there's a connection, a, a hose connection, and then there's my larger cylinder. And this has a, 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 an, a radius of 3 meters. And this has a radius of 6 meters. And I can apply a pressure, a, a force here, I'm sorry, of 9 newtons. And my question is, what force could I apply here? Let's call it F2. So I can say, well, P1 equals P2. That's using Pascal's principle. So F1 over A1 is equal to F2 over A2. So the force applied to the small cylinder divided by the cross-sectional area of the small cylinder is balanced by the force applied to the large cylinder divided by the cross-sectional area of the large cylinder. So we can say, well, in that case then F2 is equal to F1 over A1 multiplied by A2. So F2 is equal to F1 over A1 multiplied by A2, which equals, well, the force is 9 newtons. And then the A2 area is pi times 6 squared. And the A1 area, it's this cross-sectional area, is pi times 3 squared. And, you know, conveniently, the pi's cancel out. So we get this equal to 9 times 36 over 9, which equals 36 newtons. So, simple question. We just did not use, we did not give you the ratio of the areas we gave you a change in the radii of circular pistons, so you had to do some calculations for it. There we have it.